We're here streaming again here on Elden Ring. Now just give me two seconds here. As always, we're going to get set up here. Make sure everything's going all right. You know, it is. Get your levels all set, everything. Let's see, real quick. Two seconds. There. There's always so much to do when you first start up, I'm telling you. <laughs> I complain about this every time. Alright, so, what's going on? We're going to attempt a, a Jar Cannon only run here on Elden Ring. Uh, with a small caveat, I think. I don't think you can actually beat the entire game using only it, because technically you have to kill, uh, what is it, a demi-human boss to get the cannon. But I think we could do about 99% of the game using only it, the Jar Cannon. So, I really wanted to try this run and see how it goes. Hey, <laughs> dork, dorky dork man, what's going on, man? How are you making out today? Uh, new game, I guess. We have to watch the whole cutscene and everything. <laughs> no, just kidding. So I think Vagabond's probably the go-to class here, um, just because... Mainly just because of the strength requirement for the cannon. Uh, we need at least 17 to be able to two-hand it, so... See, I'm doing good today, man. You know, it was a good day. We have a great weekend so far, so... Um, yeah, just trying to end it on a good note here, you know? <laughs> Let's see... Dude, I've been outside all weekend, man. It's fucking great to get some fresh air. Uh, keep safe. I guess we'll go with that for now. Just color. Let's see, I already have a bl blue. I have a green character. We have blue or uh, purple. I mean, <laughs> so we're gonna have this Shrek-looking motherfucker. All right, let's see here. So we got that. And I got a nice sickly green right there. We're either the Green Goblin or Shrek. But his name's Jack Sparrow. We're not, we're not gonna get too far into this, but we'll do this, I guess. Let's see. Eh, that's fine. Oh, dude, I didn't save it. I'm such an idiot. There we go. Okay, now we're good. Oh, orange character. I wish I saw that. But sorry, we could always respect. We could always be orange, I guess. Green, orange. Oh, I forgot you fat roll right at the start. Take that off. It's not like we're really going to be using that anyway. So, check the number one is we got to go get the cannon. I don't really do challenge runs, so this is kind of a new step for me here. I guess we'll just get bodied by this fucking Spider-Man over here. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna run on in here. Hey! Yeah. I'll slap you my hand out. I'll slap you around a little bit, but... Please just kill me. Dude, we're doing good damage. 14. There we go. Send me to where we need to go here. There we go. Do I always forget? It's like, dude, when you start, you have to like, you have to redo all your stuff because you get so used to your character having uh, the setup that you like. So you have to redo all that. Let's see if we do this. Uh, probably not. I don't want to 
use that. No, don't use that. Oh yeah, I usually have it this way. Uh, and then down is always blue. Knowledge. All right, well, let's let's go show on the road here. I could have swore they had like a seed or something. I don't know. I'm just I'm just trained whenever I see a tree to. Whenever I see a tree to go ahead and fucking check for the seed. We are well on our way. Do a little multiplayer as well right now. Yeah, Taunter's done, Deathless, the Jar Cannon only, all the, all everything. All in one run. I really want to do a Taunter's ton uh Deathless attempt, but I don't, just don't think I'm good at the end game bosses. I'm not good enough to be able to do that yet. And mainly Malekith always like hands me my shit every single time. So what, you have to, uh, what, get three graces, right? To get Melania, Mel Melina, whatever face to show up. Because I really want my horse to get there a lot faster. <laughs> oh, that's right, I don't have the horse yet. I'm so used to doing it. I'm, ar I'm already automatic with it. Do, do, do. So mainly, mainly we're just gonna go here, and then we need to go to <laughs> accidental tree sentinel boss fight, right? And this is like me in my first playthrough. I just ran away, to be honest with you. I tried fighting them at first, but then you realize it's not even worth it. But I was really stubborn, though. I had a mindset I was gonna beat them, and this is what it is. I think we all kind of fell into that trap, though. Oh, so we need to go where? We need to go to the fort, right? To get the Dectus Medallion and the Radagon Sword Seal that'll let us go ahead and be actually be able to wield the cannon because we need 17 strength to wield it. We are at. I keep all the wrong buttons. <laughs> uh, 14, so yeah, we'll. we'll be plenty good. We need to go there anyway with the Dex's Medallion. I just, I just like picking pe things up. I uh, I always wonder what it is. This way. I, don't, I always feel nervous when I start a new run. It's like I just don't. I, I feel like overwhelmed though, most of like places to go. So I guess doing a challenge run actually makes it a little bit better because you actually have a focus on what you're doing. Because usually I just try to make PvP characters and it's like, dude, like, where do you start first? Do you go for your main weapon you want to use? Do you just try to get to the level range you're trying to get to? Do you just fight the bosses you want to fight? Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the two fingers. But you, I can play turning to aid you. You need to the foot, then summon me. Ah, I bequeath to you. Dude, Melda just talks all this shit like she's like the Easy. main character of the game, but then you don't see her again until she lights herself on fire. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Okay, so we need to go... Okay, there's actually a smithing stone that I want right here. If I remember correctly, it should be over here. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it is. Smithing stone one. A somber smithing stone one, I guess. <laughs> no, I can't resist. I know it's useless for my run right now, but... I still want it anyway. Imagine you could put determination on the um, on the cannon. Can you imagine what happened? Ooh. Oh, 
I'm trying to remember. There's a dude in a chair that has the somber smith. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is it? I wasn't rolling. It was over here, though. So our first order of business here is to get the K-Lid. I don't think anyone has ever said that, that lived in this world. Oh, doing? oh yeah, we gotta go this way. It's so weird not having a map anymore. It's just funny, when it, when it, when it takes away your map... I'm fucking blind with everything, but it's fine. Oh, this is always the exciting part of the run, where you, we gotta do your... setup and everything. We just go by here and run past everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'm just gonna come in. I'm just grabbing something real quick. Excuse me. We got the rats in here too. It's fine. Oh, is this guy? That's fine. I don't. I don't want to fight any of you. I don't mean you any harm right now. But I will be back later, though. Uh, it's uh, dude. The hardest part is trying to remember where all the upgrade materials are. Honestly, uh, when I was playing this out, it's like I got an idea of like what talismans I'm gonna get and kind of what order I'm going to do things in, but, um, uh, is this, let's go back here, point of reference, <laughs> it gets a little disorienting going through the woods, all right, so go back right there, go this way, let's say what's up to the fellow horsemen, Dude, it took me, when I first heard Bach, when I was trying to do his quest line for the first time, it took me, I don't know how long to actually find him in the bushes. I was smacking, like, every bush that was possible in that area, and I couldn't find it. Challenge jump. Challenge death. Well, there goes the deathless run. There goes that. That's out the window. Good thing, good thing I didn't say I was going to do that. <sighs> that would have been funny, though, if I did my first deathless run on this challenge. Dude, so deceptive. I thought I was going to be able to make that jump. That's fine. It's like eyes are bigger than your stomach, or like your jump is bigger than your legs. It was this, what, I had like 16, I think? 80! Wow. Okay, we can definitely make this jump though, right? Okay, we're good. Let's see how the bears... I feel like I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's just joy. Like it passed the dog. And now we're on our way. Beautiful Kaelid. Alright, we can get up that way, yeah. I, I think I'm going the real roundabout right, way here, but we'll get there. Well, well it's right here. Maybe we'll get like some somber... Or Spipping stones while we're at it. Oh, you look like you got something. Okay, that's fine. Cookbook, dude. We got, we got recipes now. Make up a new omelet. 
It's going to get half this stuff, right? Oh, dude. Very nice. Tombstone Pizza here to help us. Dude, I always, like, when I'm on the horse, I always do, like, a drive-by on every single enemy I see. I just get close. Like, not, not to kill them, just to let them know that I'm there. This might be good flash while we're at it. So, yeah, the goal right now is to get the cannon. Um, that's number one. Uh, we could probably cheese damage with it with... Well, first we're going to have to start off with the fire bombs or whatever. Um, so, we can actually kind of cheese damage with the... With what the uh, fire tier, we can squeeze out some damage, and also the fire scorpion charm as well. Um, so that's kind of our first order of business to get there and look where the jar cannon as much as possible. Dude, I, I'm like lost. I'm, I'm like I never come in this area of the map. I'm pretty sure you can get up there though. That's because that's the way we need to go. Yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, and here's the spring. I actually don't know what this drops. Sacred Blade. Oh, dude, that's how you get that, dude. I haven't gotten that in so long. So, yeah, but... I guess I, guess I should go over that while we're running out there with the actual goals of the street of the playthrough are. Um, Jarkin and only... I'm going to have to fight the demi-human boss with my sword right now, but I'm not going to upgrade it or anything like that. Um, that's really the only time I'm going to be using a different weapon in, the, in this run. Um, as soon as we get that, it's going to be Jarkin only. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Um, so, that's, re that's really the main thing right now. The main thing right now is trying to... Just get over it. Dude, I forgot how long it takes just to get over there. This game is huge. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, I forgot about the invader. <laughs> it's alright. We're going. We're just going to run. Darn. Now, now, do th these invaders, do they go away? I actually don't know. I actually don't know if they have a despawn. Uh, my fault for getting too close, I guess, but we're just going to go on foot. I'm sure if I rest of the Grey's on us, we would probably be fine. Unless it doesn't let you do that. I don't really, haven't really tried it. Oh, yep, there we go. I'll be back, don't you worry. Uh, we, we can rematch later. Forgive me. I've been to determine if you have... It seems uh, the Melano, nobody cares, cares, nobody cares. But I can take gathering very well. Oh. <laughs> Just accidentally go to the brown table hole while we're at it here. Oh, let's hurry this up, dude. I thought they had, like, faster transportation. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. What is this? I don't remember what those butterflies even do. Damn it. There it is. Alright, cool. Class are set up, so that's a little bit back to normal. Alright, so now I believe we gotta go through what? Celia. So we can get up there, so we can go ahead and get the thing, so we can go up here, so we can get the cannon. Come on. Let's go. It's just a beautiful, you know, Sunday drive here in Kaled, I guess, right? Oh, I have fond memories of this side of Grace. It's... 
when I first started playing around with the Taunters ton, I first turned it on, I think it was like around here, and I just made it, remember just getting invaded so much in this area on, on release. So that was, I always be kind of fond of this area. I know it's kind of weird, I know, but I don't know, those memories stick with you, that's what these games are good for. You know, when you have that first playthrough, it's kind of something special. Hello, hello. I'm glad to see everyone's out for a walk today. It's a beautiful day. And we go, we go, we go. Oh, dude, that's a fuck am I doing? No, it's all good. We just run away like we always do. Through the window. Get the bonfire. And we out. Ah, uh, dude, I kind of do want to... Because that's where the one talisman is. I, might, I guess I might as well get it on the way, though. Sting talisman, that's really going to help us. Yeah, so I have no clue how this run's going to go. I mean, it's going to be... I think it's going to go pretty well. I mean, I love the cannon. I mean, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to start this run. <laughs> Just because I get so much mileage out of that in PvP. It's like a wet rag and you just rain it out. Just amount of... Whenever somebody pulls out a bow or some spells at a distance, um, you just post up with a cannon every time. Excuse me. Don't mind me. These guys are more passive than I remember them being last time I was through here. I guess we might as well get this just in case. Alright, there. Okay, now we go up here. This has the highest chance of deaths thus far. Minus the trick jump that we did. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try and do... We're gonna get this real quick, see if we can s knock this off the two-do list while we're at it. gonna kick him though well before until I get this cannon the kick is gonna be allowed uh, really just because it's the ash war and the weapon um, I can't wait to kick somebody's shield away and just blast them with a cannon point blank range well, we'll, give, we'll give this another attempt if anything we'll come back here later when we get the cannon yeah so essentially I really can't kill anybody Minus that boss w with anything. Yeah, you get it. yeah, get out of here. Mind your, bi mind your business. Take my 80 souls back here. Put this back in my pocket. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Where's the chest at? Where's the chest I'm looking for here? Oh, it's been, it's been a while. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ooh. Got it. Oh, they're 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 pissed off now. 
<laughs> eh, we'll rest here. We'll get a full heal, I guess. All right, well, that's off the two-day list, I guess. We have... The Aristine Towels. Maybe we want to get that. Um, and now next is going to be... Radon. No, just kidding. <laughs> next is going to be... Getting the other half of Dectus Medallion, so that way we can actually get our weapon. So, it's not going to be a... T I, I guess the title of this video is Clickbait, technically, I guess. So, it's going to be everything except for one enemy. Dark Cannon. That's what we're going to try, at least. You know, when you see, like... Have you ever seen, like, the runs that people do, challenge runs? They always look so quick when you watch it on YouTube because they got to condense it into, like, a 30-minute video. I always forget about, like, the... Insane amount of time it takes actually just to get to all the stuff that you need. And don't mind me, don't mind me, I'm coming in. Spitting Stone, Somber 2, Golden Rune 2, that's fine. Somber 2. Try again, next lap. Holy shit, Rune 5, that's money. I'm picking up items because I don't even remember. I'm not a challenge runner. <laughs> it might be the thing that I need for all I know. Alright, so we gotta do what the three towers now. We gotta do that. Mumbo jumbo. And not die in the process. Oh, you're coming. T Rex is coming. I do wanna get this though. I don't know why, I just feel like I should. Wizards, that's right. Alright, uh, where are the bells again? There's one. Oh, hello. Shit, that kind of scared me, actually. <laughs> Oh. oh no. It's fine. I feel like I want like a police chase through the city right now. This man's an outlaw, he's coming to our town. He's like the Wild West. Dude, we get a lot of like a lot of these a lot of gold a lot of golden seeds while we're at it. Okay, first one is here. Objective Excited? Objective will be completed. Dude, they really like this idea in this game, don't they? They do it here, and they do it in, what is it, Ordina. They do the same thing, like the three towers. I mean, I don't really mind. It's, it's fine, I guess, right? I don't, I don't even remember where this is. Staff of Loss. So it's kind of cool because you know it's been a while since I've gone through this area, so it's like, dude, it's like playing it again because it's been so long, you know. So we got that tower. The next tower is there and there. Okay. So you don't gotta tell me about the sorceries. We're not using them. I'm not gonna listen. Get up there. Okay. Oh, thank goodness you can use your horse in this area, am I right? Like, where's the ladder? Oh, dude, of course it's the last side. <laughs> That's how it always is, I feel like. It's always the last side that you go and um, look for. Or, like, the last door each... Oh, my God, I thought it was a person. Okay, next. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking I have a double jump, and then my horse has the double jump. There you go, horse time. I fucking hate those things, those like puppet things. Oh, stone sword key, nice. 
I'm unknowingly grabbing items that I'll need later. <laughs> Looker, he's a he's a, he was pretty much a default. This is this is what John Elden Ring looks like, except it's not green. That's what he looks like. It's a default guy. I like his ponytail though, honestly. You know, bring that style back. Okay, now through here. Poison. Oh, is this guy again? Oh, dude, I'm trying to navigate my way through this town, man. It's, it's hard after not going through it for a while. I think go through here, right? And this will be open, and we can go up here. I think I will set for a second. Sorry, just give me two seconds here. I'm just going to send one message. What's that? I think we're doing good so far. You know, I think I think we're doing. Um, there's only one death so far, and that was self in self inflicted. So you know, technically that doesn't even count, really, if you think about it that way. Oh, I can upgrade the flask. What am I doing? Well, you get used to having your end game characters for long enough, dude. You know. If yeah, add it up, yeah. Game's getting even easier now. Hard part's over. Oh! Shit, dude, I forgot all about that. Looks like my grandpa's fucking... Ride the school here back in the day. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see that ball try rolling uphill, buddy. Y yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, there's gonna be some good somber things over here, right? If I remember correctly. Like there's got. There's gotta be. This just seems like an area. Oh, there's a... I call them the Chad Mages. I don't even know what they're called. Oh, just for a beast bloody, you kidding me? I, I feel like he would have been guarding something good. I don't know. Like, I just feel like a dude looking like that would be doing something more important with his life. <laughs> just he's a beast blood. He's like... Imagine you train for years at the academy, dude. You learn how to hold a stick the right way and everything, dude. And that's what your job is. A seven? Seven? Stone sword key. Eight. Dude, this is great. Okay, so we have a one, we have a seven, and an eight. We just need everything else besides that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we here. It's always really weird to me how this area is scaled. It's scaled as endgame for whatever reason that they thought. Because you wouldn't be coming here first time on endgame. You can get if you do D's quest line, you get you can get teleported to the sanctum, the bestial sanctum. You get here pretty early. You can do it this way. Uh, maybe if you went through Kaylid a little bit early. So I have no idea why the um, scaling is that the way that it is. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break real quick and just use the restroom real quick. It's going to be two seconds.
And we are back. <laughs> what up, JT? Uh, glad you could stop in for the stream. Uh, we, ma we made it to uh, Dragon Bear so far, so we only need the other half of the Dactus Medallion. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> but we're just going to have to run past everybody, I guess, right? Let's go. This is a scary little area. Get off the thing! Go! Ooh. Anxiety through the roof right now. This is the challenge right here. Poison? <laughs> is that like a? Does he have like a poison in his voice or something? Like, shit. Okay, we got that. I'm going to get the Radagon Source Seal. I'm trying to remember, is it over here or is it oh yeah, is this one is where it is. Right? I think so. Oh, I think so. Maybe, maybe not. There's a rat there. Golden Rune 12, dude, that's actually really good. Oh, I think I, I do think it's the other one now, actually. So oh, you can come down. Come on. Come on down. Come on over here. Is it, is my turn to use the ladder. Thank you for being polite. Put his weapon away for me and everything. Oh, dude, it's the other way. I'm such an idiot. You got the spicy voice. He sure does. <laughs> dude, I always struggle to get into the area where you get the Radagon Sword Seal. I can never find the actual drop in. I found the other one just fine. You get however much money from the other one. No, we'll just try it again. Let's see, if life knocks you down, you stand back up. You know that's. <laughs> well, now we're actually poisoned. That's funny. He poisoned us this time. He does have the poison voice, dude. He got the stank voice, the spicy voice. Have him brush his teeth or something here. All right, now let's go. Excuse me. Ah! <laughs> what is the fucking way in? I don't remember now. I don't remember the entrance into it. It's been so long since I gotten that sword seal. But it's good. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to keep trying. I mean, this isn't a timed run or anything, so... However long it takes is what it is. Where is the, where's the thing? Okay, so it's over here. It's far back to the end, to the... be on my left coming up here. Go, go, go. I think you poison that... Oh, dude, no, what is that? Is that like a f one of those poison magic flower things? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, we're going for the Radagon Sword Seal. That's what we're going for. Um, <sighs> okay, what, it boosts, like, health, strength, all by 10, I believe. Let's see if we can die these guys again, honestly. Boop. Maybe I have to go around. Or am I just an idiot? Okay, I'm figuring this out piece by piece here. I'm figuring this out. <laughs> this is going to be the hardest part of the whole run. I'm trying to figure out how to get to the source seal. <sighs> I didn't think like this was going to be the bottleneck. I didn't think this is what it was going to be. Run, run is dead right here, I guess, right? Oh, get off the thing again. So we got, we got the man with the spicy voice over here. We can't get stuck now. It's either that or the shit plants. Good job. 
All right, let's try this again. Okay, so it is over that way. I, I, I think I got it now. I think I figured it out. Hard in my dude. Every time I always bump into that guy. I gotta figure it out now. I think. Mm -hmm. Over here. Yep. Here we go. Yep. This is the way. Now, what what is the way out? Do I have to take a ladder back up? It would appear so. Oh, you guys have fun down here in your little little cell, I guess, right? Like, <laughs> we get out of here. Oh, I'm leaving this place, dude. The weather's shit. I don't want to be here. Dude, did I just trap myself? It's so disorienting. All right, now we're out. <laughs> it's the hardest part of the run is done, guys. It's done. Yeah, let's fucking go. Let's do it. Oh, dude. Tactical grace set. <laughs> Tactical grace set. Uh, okay. Now I, guess, now, now I guess the run can actually start, I guess. Now that we get that out of the way. Oh, yeah. So, they'll boost this up to 19 strength. Perfect. Index. Yeah. Plus five. So we have the arrow sting talisman. That's going to be helpful. I guess we might get the arrows reach one too. Um, it, it is where the um. Let's get the path to. Mm, get that math found. Yeah, good job. Uh, is isn't there like some good shit over here? It's been a while since I've been through here. You know what, dude? There's like the smithing thing. It's over here, yeah. Uh, pardon me. It's just a green man is going to be running through your your house real quick here. I don't even remember what half of this stuff is that I'm picking up. Oh, storm stomp and the wet. Oh, and the whetstone knife. Okay, I was going to say just storm stomp. You know, thank you, I guess. But I could be using it this run. Oh, dude, that's not very nice, dude. I remember struggling so bad with these guys when this game released for some reason. I mean, this isn't even my first Souls game. Matter of fact, it's like my fifth. <laughs> for whatever reason, I was just laying an egg fighting these guys. Whenever I see a Grace, I can't resist touching it. There we go. Stormgates. We are... I, I, I say, you know, we're in like phase two now. That's where we are. We're in phase two of the plan. And now we can level up, but that's not a priority right now. I mean, we don't even really need to, to use the weapons we do. Or we're going to be using, I should say. Okay, so yeah, we're off to fight the... Who's it? Queen Margaret. Yeah. Margaret, whoever it is. I know, this is like Margaret Morgoth... Holy shit, dude, where did you come from? Dude, I'm just trying to, like, take your stuff, dude. Out of my way. This isn't even that good of a talisman, honestly. For not for right now, but... Uh, see you guys. Take it in dip, dude. That's what you do. Uh, everything is a get, you're goddamn right. <laughs> listen, listen, there's no cap to how much shit you can put in your pockets. Uh, if they're going to allow you to take it, I'm going to take it all. Holy shit. I swear, gravity is still the hardest boss. I agree with everybody that says that, dude. It's been my only... I guess not my only death. I died like four or five times, but we're not going to talk about that. Got the wolf pack. Nice. I don't even know what this is. We'll pick it up anyway. 
And the stone sword key. Oh, you know, actually, it's a good thing I got that, you know? <laughs> Was this just tactical grace? Ultimate open war world boss. You, you're goddamn right it is. Oh, wait, I'm not, not going the right way here. I'm going this way. See you guys. Hey, yeah, you can just... Dude, I was so mad my first playthrough when I found out you can just go around this castle. Yeah, you just go around it, you know? No. Grace hyper armor, yeah. <sighs> it's the hell going through? Oh, yeah, here it is. Here's the way. Yeah, I was so... I found out the, the reverse way because I went through the whole... Stormvale and everything like everybody did and then I got to the end and I started following this path around and then sure enough it, had, it led me back to this area yeah I am like really scared with these cliffs right now dude with how things have gone so far today am I going to be naked with just a cannon um it is if that that's the plan because we plan on running the blue dancer charm um, but really, before I really say like a definite thing, I, I want to see just how much damage we're going to get from it. Um, I think it's going to be a good amount. Yeah, what, the damage caps at what? I think 16 weight, so we can have up to that, I believe. I'm just naked right now, just so I move faster. <laughs> just so we can book it a little bit quicker. The cannon? Um, I'm, I don't really remember how heavy it is. It's not light. But I don't think it's really... It, it, it's definitely lighter than a lot of... Um, it's lighter than Colossals. Uh, I, I, if I had to guess, if I had to put money on it, I would say it's about the weight of a great sword. So maybe like... I, I would say between 8 to 10. That's going to be my final answer. Without the wiki up. It's 15? Well, it's so less than a Colossal, so I was right there. Well, that's fine. I mean, then we'll just go naked then, dude. Or we'll have something that's like one weight. <sighs> JT, thank you for being like my wiki guide here. Uh, talismans, uh, right now we have the sword, Radagon Sword Seal on. Um, the long-term plan is Aristing Talisman, um, the, then swap around with whatever, uh, cannon shot I'm using. The Fire Scorpion Charmer, if we're using the Fire Ones with the, the Flame, uh, tier. And then, if we're using the Lightning, uh, shot, then we're going to be using the Lightning Charm, and then the Lightning Crack tier. So, really depends on the boss which one we're going to use, um... And how much damage we end up doing, because for some of them, like, I don't know how we're going to do Reichardt if we're going to do all Remembrance bosses. We can test it out. We can see how much damage it does. Hey, you are the Siri of Elden Ring right now. He's carrying this run. Then we go to the Lift of, De of Dectus. Oh, hello. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just going places. Dude. Oh my god, dude. You guys are not nice. I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna drink that away here. <laughs> just drink it all away, am I right? Where am I going? That's not the fastest route. Let's put our thinking cap on here. Uh, do I want to get the boiled crab? Is that going to be... Is the 30% physical reduction the quest line? 
Okay, so 8, 16, 20. Okay, so we'll be we'll make the 16 one. We won't get the max one at 8, but I don't think anybody's really going to hit that if you actually hold a weapon. <laughs> I guess we'll I guess we'll do the we'll start the quest just so that way we have that option open. This is not that one. It's over here somewhere. Oh, let's just do some fucking bell again. Yeah, I guess we might as well keep that option open, I guess. And it's Howl's memory too, that's right. You gotta keep that in the take that into account. Oh, oh, look, just Hello. by dumb luck, here we are. My mistress said I was a cock. Could I ask that thug me, oh, me if you've any... Oh, what a blessed thug, please. <laughs> so I talk to you, it's just facing away. Okay, we're out of here. I only, only if real life conversations could be that quickly, am I right? It's like, I already know what you're going to say. Now, if I remember correctly, it is. Oh, yeah, there is a so there is a somber too we can actually get right now. That is in the area. It's not this. Sound weird? <laughs> I think she did just say fuck, dude. I mean, I'm not here to censor or anything like that, but you know, it kind of sounds like it. Oh, we're here again. Oh yeah, she's where are the scouts over there. Okay, yeah, the stone that I'm looking for is around here. Uh, I'm looking for a teardrop scarab. I, I did plan this a little bit. I did look up where a few of the things are that I need. I'm not, I'm not going in <laughs> completely stupid here. Is it in here? No, it's just these guys and a and a dog. Um, well, dude, where is this thing? You, you, you know what, dude? We're gonna give it one more scan here. If we don't find it, you know, it's not meant to be. I'm pretty sure I'm close. Is either that or the wiki lied to me? Maybe it's this way. Hello, hello. Oh, you know what? Right now we're on a wild goose chase. It's not even that important, honestly. Uh, we'll get, we'll get, the, we'll get the keys so we can get into Ray Lucaria just so it's a little bit quicker. We can just take the. Uh, You could just teleport to the other side and get to the lift pretty easily. At Disney Castle, everybody, we are in Florida after all. Oh, that's right. I was I gotta go to the shack, <laughs> which miraculously is right here. I'm trying to remember, uh, yeah, you have to buy a prawn from them, I think, so they trust you. So we'll go ahead, we'll pop one of these. Definitely be enough money, right? There you go. Yeah, we got $2,400. Oh, mate, you trying to start something, mate? That necklace, what you're after, is it? Show me, and I'll consider buying. I'm not in love with you. You're a shrew first. Oh, yeah, you buy the thing. No, your bloody idea. And then oh, I think if you buy it from oh. again. All right then, I could be persuaded. Yeah, then you have to buy like one, I think, from him, oh, and then the he'll. Good mates I'll be seeing. Oh yeah, there he is. He's happy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's how you get that. 
Yeah, he's Florida man. He's just from Australia. <laughs> Australian Florida man. Yeah, I guess it's worth doing this just so we have the crab option for later. Um, I mean, we don't know what the, what end game is going to hold. I don't know how challenging this is going to be with just a cannon. Um, it's either going to go one of two ways. Either we're going to either we're going to just nuke every boss, or this is going to be a slog fest for every fight. Oh yeah, thank you kindly. Did I forget? I am. I see you are very but to steady such stress. Oh, thank you. Tarnished, most tarnished. You are a volcano man. That's where I'm heading. These things always annoy me. Okay. Next. Head for Disney Castle. Shoot the snake, yeah. Oh, there's another house. Oh no, it's just the same house. Say hello again. Oh, oh, dude, that's why I love this guy. You must be hungry. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. Let's stay focused on our mission here. Focus, focus, focus. You know, this is, this is kind of cool. You know, I like doing the challenge run. Um, you know, it's kind of like, because I mainly, when I play, I make PvP builds, and so that's kind of like its own kind of run as it is. So, kind of doing it this way is like a, um, yeah, paste S comment, yeah. Um, doing it this way is kind of like, it's nice, actually. It's something a little bit different. Um, it kind of forces you to actually have a plan together, what you're actually going to do. Oh yeah, the fucking dancing lobsters. I am terrified of those things. I'm trying to stay out of Lobster City, man. Yeah, this is pretty much all PvE. Um, there's not going to be any PvP in this um, run. At least not until we beat the game. But we'll, maybe we'll come back and we'll do a jar only. <laughs> um, PvP challenge or something like that, so maybe we can set that up. But as for now, this is really what the plan is. Um, beat the game um, using only the Jar Cannon, or at least as much as we can. Like I said, there's going to be um, the one gar the one boss market we're going to have to fight. Or Margot, how are you supposed to say it? Um, so we're going to have to fight her without the cannon, obviously, because she holds it. So... Especially once we do that, we're going to go mobile artillery, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, I really hope in the DLC they actually bring back um, six-player PvP. This game's really missing it, honestly, just what it adds. Because invasions as a stands now are pretty challenging. It's because you're... More often than not, it's always 3v1. So, it's like, is it satisfying? Yes. To actually win? Yes. But, at the same time, it, in the Dark Souls 3 days, I remember it being quite a clusterfuck sometimes. You would have the Reds, you would have the Host and his boys, you would have um, Mound Makers come in. Or you don't know what they're going to do. They might be here to help you, or they might just be here to fuck your day up. We don't know. So, that's what this game's kind of missing, uh, for me anyway, so, maybe adding something like that would be one from the soft list, possibly. Connectivity? Yeah, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm used to the netcode at this point. 
Um, the... I mean, it's gotten a little bit better, I guess. Um, if you play Dark Souls 1, jank as PvP. Yeah, with a, with a where you backstab from, like, two miles away, then the dude just gets up and somehow you're dead because he's backstabbing you now. It really didn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, but I guess that's kind of what makes you good, is you have to know how to play around that, I guess. Um, know how to cheese, know how to fish for backstabs in that game. Just do a giant dab. Holy shit! Get this. Grace discovered. We'll enter Disneyland Castle. Oh, I don't even need the map, buddy. I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> He's like, you must go here to get in the, to the door. It's okay. I already have the key. We already got it, bro. We're, we're ready to go. Now we're here. We'll get, we'll get a little rest, I guess. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> we have to get off anyway to do this. Oh, this area. Yeah, this. I, I remember when I wanted the Cuckoo set. Um, I had to farm these fucking lights over here. It took me forever, but it was worth it. I love, I love the set. I think it's a good-looking set. <laughs> so we're just. Yeah, Rhino build, yeah. The Rhino helmet. There's another secret tier for us. Oy. Oh, yeah, was, what the fuck am I doing? That's right, that down there is the height, the precipice. Oh yeah, with well, just just the helmet, maybe. Yeah, if, if we get it to drop at some point, I'll wear, I'll wear that helmet. Catapults and shit. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a trebuchet, technically, I guess, right? Sorry guys, I don't have time. Camera up, Billy, yeah. I feel like we're not even doing the run just yet, honestly, because we don't even have our weapon. I mean, we have a weapon, but we just can't use it. <laughs> okay, we're this is my stop. Touch grass. I'll do this, hoist the medallion, skip this. Yeah, mule cannon. Yeah, well, I would, but this is like an actual run, I guess. Um, I'm trying to do it without any outside help or anything. Um, I don't think there's a way to cheese the boss to get the cannon. Um, so I think that may have to be the one. Ex the patches emporium, yeah, the subreddit. I don't know. I, I I feel like I wouldn't be allowed to do that. I feel like that'd be. The Stuff, stuff, champions. Give me your high will pray. Yeah, we'll go to the manor, I guess, right? That gives us access to Rykar later. Use us for the cannon. 
You know, I mean, that's always an option. Um, I'll do this later, I guess. Yeah, there's always an option, but for now... I didn't get the bonfire. We have to go up the lift again. I mean, I guess you're right. We would be doing the whole run with a cannon. But we're already here so far, so I guess fuck it. <laughs> so wait, does that mean they send the lift... Does that mean they send the lift back down after you go up it? Here now we're on our way. Fun fact: those guys are gonna attack you actually if you go up the lifts. Fun facts. <laughs> Dark Souls were never, yeah. <laughs> So we're going to go up here, then we're going to go across the bridge over there. Well, the good news is, is the merchant that we need... Um, the merchant that we need to buy our ammo from is right on the way, actually. So it's actually really convenient. The only problem is, is we're not going to have the lightning ones, which are, which are the really high damage ones. We're not going to have those until after we complete Ling, uh, Lingdell. The merchant that sells those is in the mountaintops. Uh, here we go, cheese in the graces again, as always. I could upgrade my flask, but we'll do that later. <laughs> it's not it's really important right now. It's gonna be grabbing more shit anyway. Um, the lightning charm is in the Wyndham Catacombs over there. That's where that is. I'm gonna have to go over this way. Oh, I guess we might as well take the map, right? Why not? I always like this area at sunset. I think it's so pretty. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, these guys are pretty chill, actually. They just let you go by. Except for that guy. That guy's kind of a dick. Oh, he's last day. I don't even know what this guy sells. These merchants are so hit or miss. Sometimes they sell you... Honestly, really good things, and other times they sell you jack shit. Sensor keys are nice. Yeah, we need the keys to get um, the, uh, the the one talisman, the lightning talisman, and the catacombs. We do need a stone sword key for that. So, but I think we have plenty for that right now. Kill the merchant, yeah. I can never bring myself to do it. I'm not a psychopath. You won't? Yeah, I won't. Well, I can't kill him anyway. We don't have the cannon yet. Okay. Oh, you won't go that way. Okay. Uh, the Demi-Human Queen? Uh, we're just gonna have to use our sword. That's the one exception on this run. Uh, we're gonna have to fight legit on that fight, I guess. Um, unless I use my fist, but that's gonna take forever. Um, yeah, because I don't think this run is actually possible without a mule dropping a cannon at the start. I don't think it's actually possible. 
Um, so, but it's fine. It's just going to be the one exception. This isn't a strict run anyway. It's really just more for fun. <laughs> I don't even know what's in this thing. The great stars, yay. That'd be great. These guys are horrible guards, man. These guys are horrible. Fire whoever hired these guys. On the road again. I got stuck on a goat. Yeah, Demi Human Cream more got. This is you actually fought him four times in the game. Grab this. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Just I just see what's over here. What was this? Blood rose. Ooh. Mushroom. Ooh. Excuse me. Explosive great ball. That's good. Now you got me curious. What's this thing? There's not the item, right? I'm not tripping. Oh, here it is. On Route 8. Well, now we have five bullets for our cannon. Whoa! Oh, ass. <laughs> why, why did I get kicked off the horse? Is there an invader in that area? A Tartarus, yeah, again, in Anastasia, this is the second time you fucked me this run. <laughs> God, it's like, dude, get out of here. Like, dude, this is the second time. You're following me around the whole game. Oh, I think I may have made a wrong turn, actually. I may want to go the other way. I'm trying to remember here. Yeah, we want to go this way to get in the Mount Gelmir. Yeah, there's a grace right there too, of course. They go north from where you kill Anastasia. Yeah, because I'm trying to remember because that cave is like over here, but it kind of blocks you off. the The road ends, so you have to get up there. Oh, we'll try it again. Let's give it. <laughs> Dude, we just got fucked by that dog. Dude, the dogs in this game are some of the hardest enemies every time. Oh, I'll go get my 900 bucks back, I guess, right? Hello. Oh, well, now we know we're gonna get kicked off the horse. Yeah, well, the thing we need is up there, that's the problem. Yeah, so we gotta go around the other way. Yeah, because you have to get up there. God. Ooh. This is about to be really bad, really quickly. Yeah, because I need to be up there. To, that's where the cave is. It's up there. It's not down here. Yeah, because this is a dead end, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess Anastasia didn't show up again. There's another stone sword key, yeah. Let me 
you get off the horse. I've fallen to my death plenty of times that way. Yeah, there's a way up there. You have to go around the other way to get there, though. This is a dead end. It ends right here. Alright, so we go this way. the goat. Or the sheep, I mean. Yeah, so we're gonna stream a little bit longer here. I at least want to just get the cannon. We're almost there. And I might call part one here. The good news is we need... The, the fire talisman is very close to where the, the actual... Uh, cannon is located. Yeah, so we'll have to come back this way later. Yeah, because I know you get up Mount Gelmir this way. Uh, is one of the way. There's like three ways up the mountain. There's. Oh no, it's the boatman. Where is he? This dude fucking rocks. You know, some people get filled with dread when they have to fight a boss. When I when I see the boatman, I get filled with nothing but joy. Look at him. Yeah, you do your thing, bro. Oh, dude, don't be doing that. Get your ass over there, boy. <laughs> right, I do want to see what's in this, though. Oh, it's working in only, Vince. You can't do that. Well, I can't. Ow, what the fuck hit me? Th these are an exception because uh, you can't really open these with the can very well. Did I just stagger that? Garage. <laughs> if only we could put that on the can, that'd be pretty cool, actually. That's gonna blow. Hey, give me that. What? Yeah, so you go this way. Um, that's the cave you get the Kindred of Rot Exaltation from. I forget what's up this way, actually. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. Oh, and there's a bunch of those things here. Dude, I, fucking flashback to the deaths of Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 deaths with all the um, Bacillus in there. Dude, there's one of these fucking guys. Just falling from the sky, like, it's weird. I didn't think that was going to be an instant kill. <laughs> okay, this is fine. We'll just, we'll just go back there. We'll just go back. Uh, now I'm terrified of those fucking things. Now I'm terrified. And here we go. Spitting still five, nice. Use useless on this run though. Get out of my way. I I, I forgot. They just appear midway in the air.
You, you know, whatever that item is, it's not. It's pretty little bit dicey, am I right? Oh, you, you know what? Now we talk about it. It's just ironic, isn't it? Fireproof dry liver after dying from the fire. Alright, so we're here. The... We, we had to go this way anyway, because we need the talisman. I have to go this way to get it. Yeah, it's back here. Sacramental bud. Get your butt out. Right. Oh, dude. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, yeah, I think I have to run past here. It's up. That's right. We're just gonna have to run past Discount Smo. It's a cool guy, right? It's a big class. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through here. He's <laughs> not so threatening, is he? Yeah, big boy, you can't get through here, can you? Hey! Alright, fire smoke out of the way. Slumpering egg. I don't know, let's see. There's nothing, nothing there. Where's the thing? The thing is. Yep, there it is. It's over here. It's Fire Scorpion Charm. And we can continue on our way. We have what we need. <laughs> hot Smo, yeah. This is Smo, but even hotter somehow. You thought he was hot before with his titties. Wait till you see him now. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, nice miss, buddy. There we go. Hey, slap. <laughs> he got staggered by the open hand slap. Boy, I hate these things. Uh, they have pyrotechnics back here in the Elden Ring age. So you have to run past this thing, right? I think that's possible, right? I think so. I hate fighting these things. Uh, but I, I just feel like I always get fucked by them somehow. Uh, through here. Golden Room 2. That's kind of low for this area, honestly, because this is about, like, I would say beginning of the mid game, honestly. Man, come on, bear. Come on, come on. We don't got time for this, honestly. Dude, we're just hauling ass through this place. The Hermit Village. Come for golden shit, yes. 
Oh, here's Maggie. Later, Maggie. Why do they have such... They have, like, such normal names for, like, a big, like, monster, you know? Oh, hey, this is... Hey, this is Maggie. It's like somebody you know from down the street, like... No, is this a big... All right, we're on track. I remember my first run through Mount Galmir. It was actually a pretty scary experience. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, we're right where we need to be right now. I know, it was a very, like, creepy experience, you know? It's like this spooky-ass mountain. Yeah. Listen, I don't want to cause you guys any distress here. I'm just trying to do what I'm trying to do, and that's what it is. And the Lord does say it's an awful place, because it is an awful place, dude. Like, I mean, look at look at all the. I mean, look at this thing. Like, that's not a nice thing. And anytime Spider Man's here, it's not. It's usually trouble afoot. There's a ladder over here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, no, it's... I, there's two ladders, isn't there? There's, like, one here. Oh, wait, no, the next level is two. Hey, come over here. Come on. Big with your stupid ass. <laughs> Fooled you. Now get your ass up this fucking thing. Yeah, we got giants... Yeah, it's, a, it's such a bloody battle, it's considered unholy. Yorn would be pissed. Oh, all the Hanan Giants. Yorn would be pissed, dude. Shout out to Yorm the Giant. Yeah, our merchant friend is over here. That's going to sell us our ammo. Um. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Who is this? Who's this man coming over here? Oh, dude, this is a dead end. I just put myself in a bad situation. We're gonna get up out of here. And up we go. Oh, the boss bracket challenge? Yeah, I saw that. I I didn't see who's winning though. I didn't see that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, iframes. Get off. Oh, you know what? We're just gonna run away from that. We're gonna do the smart thing, and we're just gonna get away, you know? And we got another one we gotta go up. Oh, holy shit! Uh, I was trying to juke the one guy. I was trying to juke the one guy and I ended up screwing myself with the other. Oh, that's fine. We, we have our route down now. It's only going to be... Minor inconvenience is what it's going to be. Minor inconvenience, everybody. Sorry about the delay. This... I'm just padding out my runtime here. I mean, we're already at an hour and a half. <laughs> we're gonna pad it out an extra ten seconds, or extra two minutes rather. Yeah, I guess maybe when this run is done, we'll do like a PvP cannon challenge or something with this character. Um, Spider-Man's gonna come down again. I don't know where they come from. Oh, dude, they jump over the thing. <laughs> it is, it is Spider-Man just swinging on his fucking web. Does that make me the bad guy? Oh, I, I guess I'm the Green Goblin, right? 
Dude, thank fuck those things can't climb ladders, am I right? Okay, we back. This is scary, though. But, you know, we're gonna go up this way. This is the friendlier way. <laughs> this is where the merchant is. I don't even want the thousand runes. It's nothing. That's child's play. That's what we got. Yo, does anyone else think the Volcano Manor kind of looks like the castle from Shrek? The one that's in the volcano. Do you think that's where they got their inspiration from? Ah, welcome, dear customer. Hey! Please, I'm hungry. You're hungry? How much are they? Okay, so they're 800 a pop. Not terrible, not good. Yeah, we'll get the fucking 160 deal. Yeah, Lord Farquaad the Blasphemous, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go and we're gonna fight Lord Farquaad here. 100% is the castle, dude. They definitely got some design cues from Shrek. I think this whole area of the game is designed from Shrek. Lord Farquaad the Blasphemous. <laughs> I mean, he is a blasphemous guy. He is kind of like a dick. I mean, the whole time. I, I'd say Lord Farquaad is blasphemous. He would make his house here on top of a of a active volcano. It was, that, that alone is a building code violation. Okay, that's the cave is over here that we want to get to. That's where it is. Dude, I forgot these guys have madness. Dude, madness is such a rare thing to actually find. It's, it's only in certain areas you find it. I have no clue how challenging this boss is going to be. At room level 1 with an unupgraded weapon. This isn't a hard boss at all. We need OSHA, yeah. Dude, no, really, like, have you ever seen some of the shit in, like, the Souls games? Like, it's like a blatant OSHA violation with everything. And, I mean, this is before OSHA, I guess, right? Hello, hello. Don't mind me. Oh, the boss is that way, shit. He's too nice, man. He's got the moves. Out of my way. Here we go, Margaret. How? Okay, one exception, we're using the sword for this fight, that's it. But we're also level one on upgraded, so. Oh, do we do good damage? Look at that. It's fine. That's not fine. Okay, so we're a one shot. <laughs> I don't really remember the move set to this boss. I ne I only fought it once. Like I've only, f I never fight these bosses. None of the demi human bosses drop anything good. The one in Limgrave drops a sewing needle. A sewing needle. Like it, it, I mean, dude. I I guess it's great if your pants rip, but. Get out of my way. I'm not here for you. I have important business with your with your boss. Get out of the way. I don't want to hurt you. Tap for a drink. Okay, I couldn't even see. The thing was in my my, my camera was in it. Only for Millicent Sims, yeah. <laughs> Oh, don't block the way again, dude. Come on. Like, I could definitely squeeze by there. His, his fucking brain finger is in the way. No, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go through the mist, you idiot. It's for man. <laughs> I 
It's the Ash Ward. Oh, dude, the Ash Ward does good damage. Oh, dude, you can throw that? I don't even know what's in what's in here. All right, well we're gonna try again. Friendly fire, yeah, dude, yeah. Like I think it's hilarious when they kill their little minions. Okay, so why didn't this guy block me the first time? He blocks me this time though. You know, I want to see what's in my physics first. Actually, I forgot I had it. We haven't used it this whole time. Uh, nothing is in it, actually. <laughs> oh, that's fine, you know. It's a, it restores half of my health, I guess. Really kind of borderline useless. Oh, don't you do it again. Dude, would you stop blocking the way in? You're making this so much more difficult than it needs to be. Get out of here. This way. Jeez, please. I guess we'll use this just to get the fucking hope back, right? There you go. Let me found a use for it. So Astro War does good, or jumping attacks do good. Yeah, but that does a lot of damage too. I right, Oh, and you're a wizard. It's even worse. Dude, what is the hitbox? What is the hitbox for this boss? I can't even hit locked on. We're gonna have to unlock. Dude, it's just funny because when I'm locked on and I do like the little thrusting, the sword doesn't even reach. <laughs> it doesn't reach. Oh wait, actually, since I'm allowed to use a weapon for this one, we can go. Halberd's a better weapon anyway. This is my one chance to use an actual weapon. We're gonna use Get out of the way! Jeez, oh my god. I, I don't have any beef with you guys. I don't want to fight you. Charge for it. Let's go. This boss is actually challenging. Well, this is like a perfect combination of like boss you never fight combined with the fact that I have no stats essentially. All I'm un all unupgraded. Okay, we got a little bit of protection. We have gloves and a helmet on this side. And we're, each one, we're getting better, you know, get back here. Any of your attacks do. Oh my god, dude. This 
is actually a challenge. <laughs> this is all right. So we're gonna go about this way. We're, we're gonna we're gonna be fully clothed this time. Maybe, maybe it'll make a difference. I'm gonna give up the light roll. Give up the light roll for a little bit of damage protection. We'll see how it goes. Hey, it's me. So we're not one shot anymore. Heal. Go combo right there. Okay, get behind. Yes, this is it. We're gonna face to the ground for this one, buddy. There you go. This one is scary, actually. Catch just like a PvP man. That's what you do. Out of stamina, that's fine. You'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope there's no phase two. Wow, dude. I can beat this boss, probably this run. I, I think I can do this one. God damn it, we are gonna beat this boss. I really don't like this boss right now, dude. Alright, alright, Mar dude, this is hard harder than Margaret. Like, the, the real one. Ready, ready your team. Okay, so the hug here, I can't get hit. Holy shit. Okay, so that's actually a good attack we get behind. Oh my god, dude! That is so fast! That's it. We're gonna use all the tools at our disposal here. We're just gonna cheese with bleed. Life Force is over 9,000, dude. Remember when we fought this and this boss was we killed in two hits? Yeah, this is the real challenge right here. That's how you're actually supposed to fight it. He's a beast. I really don't like this cave right now. What am I stuck? That's it. We're, we're going with the bleed build. That's it. I've had enough.
There we go. Not what I wanted, but it's fine. Boss is so fast, you have no reaction time. You have no reaction time. This guy is going to block away again. Excuse me. I don't know how I take damage from that. I, I fell like 10 feet. that. But we got it down to a science this time. <laughs> Poised through that. Get behind. Go. Give me the crit this time, please. Yes, thank you. It's that bite move is so fast. Here we go, there's the bleed. No crit for me this time. It's fine. Heal that. Here we go. Heal that. It's that bite every single time, dude. You're gonna do it again, aren't you? Yep, yeah, every single time. Oh my fucking god, dude. It's alright, we got it this next time. Hang on, I gotta take the hoodie off. Give me two seconds. Here. We got the headset back on. We sweating. We sweating out here. Oh, sweating. Oh my god. Well, we have a strategy and it's working. Uh, it, it turns out all you have to do to be Elderman is have a lead build. Oh, no fall damage that time. There's a rock that I, I've been getting stuck on every single time. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go again. Let's try this again and mark it. This is, this is mark it. It's like the start of the game. Fucking gatekeeping the castle, right? You know what? There we go. Like that. Dying. Come back. Are you are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? This is an RNG run. It really depends if it does that. If she does that fucking turnaround bite attack, you are fucked every single time. For me right now, that's quite literally a one shot kill attack, and you don't even know it's coming. You can't even react to that attack's coming. It just quite literally just turns around. Let's go drink that. Go. Bad. Okay, yeah, 
we, if we get into the cross, we're good. This is good. This is good attack. We get punish. Bleed. Yep, there it is again. I knew a stagger was coming. Can Dude, what? I mean, this boss, you cannot get the crit. You cannot get this crit at all, dude. I only got it once. Yep, there it is again. It's fine. Heal real quick. Get out of the way. Hug the nuts. I guess the would be... Or I guess I'd be the coochie in this case. Good. Double heal. God, dude, fuck off, dude. Bleed. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes, and we get the stagger, and we get the crit. Ah, I knew your bite was coming this time, buddy. Hey! There we go. Hey. And now we have our prize. Jar Candy it is. We get eleven thousand dollars. That's good. I mean, yeah, very nice. This is a fucking monkeys. Oh my god, dude, this is good. This is real good right now. All right, well, I guess we want, we need to head back, and and then we can buy them off of EG. We can buy the Smith and Stones. We actually do that. All right, well, there we go. We have our jonification here. We have our weapon for the rest of the run, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for today. Dude, Margit, oh my god, man. Oh my god, dude, that was... Dude, that boss is usually a cakewalk, right? Any of the demi-human bosses are usually easy as fuck, but not in this state. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be using a weapon. My... I assure you not, my, my initial thought was I'm going to fight this boss since I'm not allowed to use another weapon. Besides the cannon, I was like, I'm gonna use my fists instead. What? I'm such a fucking idiot. All right. Well, now the real challenge run starts. Now it'll be strictly the cannon from here on out. So I've had my my cheat fight, I guess. So when we finish that, now with the real run starts. So on that note, I'll catch you guys later. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for tuning in, and you guys have a good one. Adios.